All right, folks, I want you to take a look at this. Joe Biden today getting on Marine One, and he stops and picks up, I think it's a dandelion, but it's a dandelion that hasn't even blossomed into a flower yet. Like, it gives everybody asthma. So you blow it, it goes everywhere, and then everybody starts sneezing. Well, he picks up the weed and gives it to Jill as what I guess is supposed to be some kind of a sweet gesture. He's getting dandelions all over the place. I say it was a planted dandelion there. Who knows? That bastard. Happy Monday, everybody. Happy Monday. Uh, There you have a little sampling of what is poisoning America. The toxicity level on that clip from Newsmax is so high uh, that you could only guess now why America is so freaking confused and divided and uh, just a mess. Uh, A mess inside the Republican Party. That is what's going on inside that freaking party. It, It ain't even a fun party. What do you wear to a party like that? A tinfoil hat? I mean, I I honestly don't understand. But I thought, you know, Florida was the leading edge of crazy until we got a little gander at Arizona. Arizona, you have gone mad. You have gone insane. The inmates are running the asylum. However, the inmates built this particular asylum that's going on in Arizona. You know, I thought Florida, really, you know, Florida man, Matt Gates, Ron death sentence, you know. I'm looking at like Florida's legislation in the last couple of weeks and I'm thinking nobody's gonna get close to this uh, level of uh, back wrap, nobody, right? That we've passed uh, here in Florida, anti-trans laws, you can run over protester laws. You got, uh, you know, election suppression after a perfect uh, election. I mean, Trump won here and the election was not contested by anybody on any level, anytime, anywhere in any county in Florida. And yet we decided, hey, let's change Florida election laws. Let's suppress votes here. Let's, uh, you know, put poll watchers in there, Uh, you know, poll watchers like from parties and candidates camps of poet to intimidate and to videotape and to you know just basically uh, scare people away from the polls while we take away their ability to vote by mail throw them all into the polling place make the lines really long and put poll watchers from candidates you know in there and challengers and all this stuff and they raise taxes all at the same time here in Florida but you know what it pales in comparison to this dirty recount thing that's going on in Arizona. You know, somebody asked me uh, Friday, I guess, when did this start? Oh, the pressure of a date, the pressure of a date. It started on April 23rd. So here's my question. Today is what, May 3rd? All day. Why is it taking two weeks to count two million ballots in Maricopa County? Why? Why is it doing that? You see, this is craziness. This is mass madness, you maniacs, you. This is the Arizona, by the way, I have to, uh, this is just so, you, you had of the agitators for the January 6th insurrection, this violence where they, with depraved abandon, beat police officers, right, with the, you know, American flags and Blue Lives Matter flags. I mean, the irony is freaking endless on this, but it's also a disaster because it was so violent. And 140 police officers, as you know, were wounded, right? But I just want you to know that some of the agitators hailed from crazy Arizona. You had, uh, what, uh, Paul Gosar, uh, Andy Biggs, and now we're finding out that there were two House members from the State House, from the, sounds like a insane asylum when you say the State House, right? It sounds like a place where, you know, used to send people. But no, I'm talking about the uh, State legislature in Arizona, which, by the way, is like all Republican, right? So you had uh, Mark Fincham and a former representative named Andy Kern. Andy Kern, who apparently was present at the riot, was present at the insurrection, was present at the attempt to overthrow the results of a free and fair American election is now inside the convention center in Arizona counting the ballots. Does this make sense to anybody? I mean, 
there was no fraud, and if violence didn't make it so that there was fraud, well then go inside and commit fraud when you're count. Re- I I don't know are this audit. This I mean, are they going to count the ballots until the ballots say what they want the ballots to say? This is mass madness. This is crazy. This is Arizona crazy. This this makes Florida look almost uh, tepid. Almost, I said. I qualified. Words matter. So this is what's going on now in, in, in Arizona. Uh, and again, it's not going to change anything. I just want you to understand that when we talk about this fraudulent company and this. Oh, by the way, you know, this uh, Cyber Ninjas company is from Florida. So you have this uh, melding, this mixing of uh, mass madness. It's a melting mix of mass madness, you maniacs, you for those who are fans of alliteration. I just did that for you. No, but I mean, honestly, this is this is such a, a, a crazy attempt to overthrow an election. And of course, it has no chance of doing that. I just want you to know that uh, I think Biden won Arizona by what, 45,000 votes or so? There is no way, okay? Now, even if they somehow stay in there long enough, but I will tell you that uh, they, they rented the, um, the center where they're counting the vote, the, the convention center. They rented it until May 14th, May 14th. So we may be, you know, like looking at this for another two weeks of, of crazy, but it, it won't change anything. The votes for the election have been certified. And as you know, on January 6th, even though there were people who objected to the certificate, it was accepted and certified by Congress. So... There's nothing that can happen here that would change anything. I mean, you know, QAnon freaks, uh, Michael Flynn, and, you know, they think that, and, and Michael and Dell, and I mean, just uh, you know, crazy uh, uh, Lynn Wood, and they all think that, I don't know, uh, Donald Trump is going to mysteriously be reinserted into the presidency, or he's going to, I don't know, uh, parasail in and kick Biden out with his foot as he's parasail. I No, that will not happen. It doesn't happen under our law, but it doesn't stop them from insinuating that there was some sort of effort to cheat. Now, I will tell you that I looked at Cyber Ninja, this this guy who uh, owns the company, okay, like I told you, he's a snot-nosed little teenager, basically. You know how many employees that company had, has? Somewhere between two and ten. I mean, this is so, this is such an obvious attempt to stir controversy where there is none. This is such an obvious attempt to keep a lie alive, and it is a lie. Donald Trump today, he released, you know, one of his uh, statements, statements, like we need to hear from, uh, you know, uh, the yam. We don't need to hear from the yam man, okay? He tweet. he didn't tweet, he's uh, banned from Twitter, and in fact, Facebook is considering never letting him back on there because... They don't want election lies on their platform, right? And so they're deciding, you know, they suspended him, but now they're deciding whether... Anyway, he released a statement this morning, quote, the fraudulent, with random capitalization, I don't even understand who's writing this. It must be him, but it's random. The fraudulent presidential election of 2020 will be from this day forth known as the big lie in all caps. Donald, the election is over. You freaking lost because you are a loser. You were always a loser. You had a brief moment of, hey, let's try a loser. That's kind of what this country said. Let's try a racist loser. Let's see what happens. And then they rejected the racist loser. Now, the racist people are still part of the cabal, right? But the other people are like, okay, we tried that, and it was terrible, you know. Almost 600,000 people died, you know. But um, it's over. This is done. Nothing's going to change. Nothing. Nothing.